Hey, what is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here and in today's video we're going to be sharing with you where snakes go in the winter exactly. Snakes are seen just about everywhere from spring through October and then they kind of disappear. A lot of people assume that they hibernate, but that's not always true. Snakes are more reactive to consistently cold weather rather than a change of seasons. In fact, rattlesnakes are even known to move around during extended warm periods during winter months, especially if they hole up in a stump or other location that can be warmed easily by sunshine. However, snakes do not actually hibernate, rather they become less active during cold weather. This is a process called brumation. Brumation is an extreme slowing down of their metabolism. The snake is still awake, but just very lethargic so you don't see them moving around. In the fall, snakes move back to the previous year's den usually, however, if it gets cold very quickly, then they may die unless they're able to find a suitable secondary den. They usually do not stay long at the den entrance, but quickly get inside and hurry into the long winter sleep. Several snakes can be found in one den. Usually there are around 10 to 20, however, as high as a number as 50 or even 100 have been found in one cave all cuddled together in order to keep each other warm. A group site is called a hibernaculum. This is again when there are several snakes in one den rather than just one snake or a couple hanging out. Before the process of brumation, snakes will increase their intake of food if they can. Not all snakes will survive the brumation process. A very skinny snake, for example, will not survive. If the snake feeds heavily before they hibernate and have digested their meal before the cooling starts, then they will be okay. They will not need to feed at all during the winter. If a snake was not able to digest its meal fully before the brumation process, then it will usually rot and kill itself. The reason for this is because, again, the process of brumation is a slowing of the metabolism. So when the cooling starts, they're no longer able to digest the meal, so it's just like a big dan dead animal inside of them, and so then they pass away. Sometimes on warmer days in late fall or early spring, or even if the temperature is a bit warmer during the winter, brumating snakes sometimes come out of their dens to bask in the sunshine. Nice sunny days that follow a long cold snap are often when people are surprised by rattlers and other snakes. Just like humans, snakes head out to enjoy the sun and unsuspecting hikers can startle them and cause them to strike. Generally, rattlesnakes emerge from hibernation in March or April, or when the average daytime temperatures reach and remain about 60 degrees Fahrenheit and higher. So where actually does the snake go for this process of brumation? The answer can be inside of tree trunks, inside of grounds, inside of the hole, but with the increase of urbanization in cities recently, and even the suburbs area, snakes are increasingly hiding in people's homes. Some areas that a snake might try to hide in inside of your home is the attic, basement, HVAC system, inside cabinets, behind dressers, under bed frames, underneath the couch, and basically anywhere dark and damp. Oftentimes, people's homes are the perfect location for snakes to sneak into. They can find little holes that go under the foundation of the home as well, and the reason for this is because they don't have to worry about crazy winter temperatures or snowstorms or big issues out in the wild because your home is going to have heating and then even if the area that it's in is not heated such as an attic or in between the walls it is still going to be significantly warmer with a much stable temperature if you think that you might have a snake or what other wildlife issue make sure to give us a call at 855-wildlife and we'll be happy to help you out with some advice and we can also remove the snakes or other wildlife animals and restore any damage that they may have caused and then finally prevent it from happening in the future thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to leave a thumbs up comment what you think in the comment section below and if you're new hit the subscribe button for more amazing wildlife related videos thanks for watching and we'll see you next time they're out there looking for a home and they found one yours they want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 
855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.